Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to 98.9, brought to you in association with ASB. This is your morning briefing where you get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, starting now with news. The ING vote is due to close at 5pm tonight. Remember, two frozen funds in ING, ANZ customers have money at stake here as well. Peter Dunn, the minister in the coalition government, says he wants ING and ANZ to drop their indemnity clause, which is part of the offer. They, ING will buy back the units as long as you promise not to sue either ING or ANZ. Meanwhile, in the States, a company called CIT, most of us will never have heard of, but is America's biggest small business lender, it is about to go bankrupt. It has one million customers and over $70 billion worth of loans. It is the world's third largest aircraft leasing firm. Meanwhile, across the Pacific in China, the Rio Tinto affair is getting worse. An executive, a Chinese-Australian executive for Rio Tinto has been detained and it's now becoming clear that it seems he and a couple of other executives are accused of bribing one of the officials, one of the Chinese officials, for details on China's stance in negotiations with Rio Tinto over iron ore. This is important because if China and Australia fall out with each other over minerals, New Zealand will suffer. Australia is our largest trading partner. And meanwhile, in Australia, there is talk that NAB will have to take losses of almost $4.9 billion Australian because of a toxic bond portfolio it holds. And it may have to raise some capital to make sure it can cope with that loss. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was 98.9, brought to an association with ASB.